hello and good morning to all of you this is engineer Raman Allah. today we will explain how to present your uh, project to your uh, higher management to your clients so, so in this one first uh, we will explain how to make coding for your project how to make activity code then filter according to those uh, activity codes Activity code is basically done for uh, filtering the project. So first, we will, uh, what we will do, we will define activity codes for our project. These are uh, activity codes. Now, no project is open. This one project we have developed in our previous video. I will open this project and I will uh, define some codes for my project. These are uh, no code is defined for this project. So I will go to modify. First, I will I I want to define field activity code for my project. Yani I want to show only civil activities. I want to show only MEP activities. How I have to do this one? Then. Uh, how I will uh, uh, filter my activities uh, according to prog progress and you know, those activities which are in progress and those activities which are not started how I will filter th that one second you can do it uh, by area wise uh, like uh, on lar large projects uh, uh, you have to filter your project area wise so this is one simple project, only one house uh, of uh, 25 by 50 uh, size. There is no need to filter it area wise. Uh, I will define this one code of field. And for now I will leave uh, progress because this uh, project is not yet uh, started, not updated. So there is no need of that activity code. Close this one. Now this one is field activity code. In field I want to define my fields. One is civil. Civil work. And I want to define another MEP work. There are three types of work in my project civil work, MEP work, and finishing work. So I will define three codes for this one finishing, finishing work. One thing uh, to do is Okay, go to modify. There are many built in uh, activity codes in your uh, Primavera software. So if you define if you define some numbering before, uh, if you do some numbering before your activity code, it will be easy to find it out. Close. Now I want to filter my project. My uh, client has asked me to send him only civil activities. So I want to filter my project uh, for civil activities only. For that, uh, first I have to uh, assign activity codes to my project. So highlight civil activities, assign activity codes. I want to see only this project activity course civil work to these civil activities then this one is also civil work assign civil activities to this and this one is civil work now uh, I will assign plumbing activity code to plumbing activities these are plumbing activities so 
sorry map activities i will define map activity code to these activities and these are map activities and third one is finishing so this one is finishing activities assign finishing activity code then finishing activities on ground floor then finishing activities on first floor and this one i will also include in finishing so i have assigned um, activity codes to my schedule now my client asked me to send him only schedule including civil activities i will go to filters from here filters this one activity code filter i have already defined if you want to see how to define filter here click new filter name this filter activity code and now make coding for this filter 100 field so this numbering I have done 100 because if I don't do this numbering it will come down here somewhere or here so it is hard to find it put some number before it will come here at the top civil work from here apply now this project is showing me only civil works see only civil work is showing now i want to include civil work and finishing work so i will do coding accordingly go to modify civil work then another add another condition this is and i want to make it or okay to make it or you have to make it any of the following so i will add another condition where field is under civil or where field is under finishing from here you can make it and and all and means if both these conditions apply then it will show you the activity and r means if any of these condition apply it will show you the activity and it will show you both civil activities and finish activities so it is showing me the civil activity including uh, finishing activities and if i want to make it and modify then it will show me nothing because i have assigned to no activities both civil and finishing uh, finishing activity code is assigned it will show me nothing so care should be taken here make it any okay now we will come to filtering your project mm. For example, my client has asked me to send him schedule of two weeks only, two weeks look ahead schedule. So in two weeks look, look ahead schedule, those activities will be included which are started before today but not yet finished until today and uh, which will start after today and before two weeks uh, from today. I hope you understand what I say. So this is my two weeks look ahead there will be two conditions in uh, first condition it will include those activities which has started before today less than today means it has started before today and it has not yet greater than it has not finished today one condition this or those activities which will start after today and before two weeks from today so this is a two weeks look ahead schedule if you want to make it uh, make one month look ahead you 
just have to make it uh, one month plus two weeks you have to make it one month and if you want to make it uh, three months then you just have to make it uh, plus CD plus three months so let's apply first I will uncheck this and let's apply this filter now it is showing me only uh, those activities which has started before and not started uh, not yet finished see here date is uh, 2nd of October first of October is date today first of November sorry so those activities which has started but not finished and which will finish uh, which will started two weeks from today those are included in two weeks look ahead schedule so this is a uh, activity codes on a very very simple project uh, now we will see how these activity codes work on a real-time project uh, I will show you my previous project how I have done activity coding for the uh, for that one this one is my project so it is very large project almost three to four thousand activities if I see it from here total activity is 4600 this project is of 4600 activities it is mega project uh, and it is uh, divided into many areas I will show you activity codes assign activity code activity code of this project or from here activity codes only of this project I have divided this activity codes into major activities those activities which have risk and area these are areas in my project So let's filter this one activity code modify this one filter where area is equal to these are areas pipe rack area catalyst and reactor additive storage building interconnecting pipe rack raw material storage blender silos additive and peroxide storage building Palletizing and draping uh, building, feed purification, operator shelter, and satellite workshop, loop reactor. So, these are all uh, areas in uh, my project. For example, my client work uh, want me to send him uh, those activities of blender silos only. it is showing only blender silos sorry this filter is now it is see it is showing only blender silos now i want to filter it by phase what is included in phase construction commissioning i want to see only commissioning activities see here only commissioning activities are uh, shown now i want to show only
only let's see what is in risk in risk i have uh, defined three kinds of risk constraints to site accessibility for manpower due to traffic nearby site this will include those activities uh, which are uh, away from site or uh, where accessibility is difficult so here we can see backfilling excavation elevated uh, concrete all here prefabric prefabrication in my project prefabrication workshop was uh, almost uh, 10 to 15 kilometers away from site location so these are activities where accessibility is difficult and delay in completion of project within the contractual time period of 32 months see what is included in this one Prod, product handling pipe break mechanical completion these are almost those activities which we have outsourced so you can uh, should do uh, filter your activities according to your uh, needs or according to the need of the client or your management now uh, second thing i will close this project and will come to our own project which is uh, which is 25 by 50 okay so next thing is uh, how to make a resource histogram of your project i have defined only three kinds of resources here uh, civil resources mep resources and machinery resources so from here i will go to resource assignments <coughs> copy this okay uh, one thing is here i have shown budgeted units from here uh, when your uh, schedule is in progress you can show actual units or remaining units also or you can customize this field so here copy this one and open excel paste it to be a good planner you must be very very expert in excel you should know all these uh, how to make histograms and advanced excel you should know so this one is my histogram just rename these this one is civil civil man hours and this one is machinery man hour machinery man hour and this one is MEP man hours this all you should be able to do it in uh, excel this spelling is not correct see here this is weekly uh, resource assignments change title of this one resource histogram now i want to show this uh, i want to show this one in uh, my weekly report so i will open my weekly report this one is weekly report on my previous project delete this one copy this one and paste it here so this one is my uh, weekly report 
which you will send each week to your project if you want to see the highlights of a weekly report then these are safety highlights uh, these are achieved activities current week these are uh, planned for next week planned completion actually this one is old report of 2015 so completion date was may 2015 and this one is variance uh, we plan to be uh, on today date we planned it to be 80 percent complete 81 percent complete but today it is 77 percent complete so these two things uh, i have explained uh, in today's lecture which is uh, coding filtering of uh, your schedule and uh, resource histogram how to make resource histogram of your schedule one thing uh, one other thing i will also explain it to you import export how to export your schedule many times you want to work in excel because working in excel is easier than working in primavera so first you will export your schedule to excel and make changes there then you will import it back to primavera so if you want to make a primavera export a primavera file you will check this box uh, zdr file and if you want to uh, export is uh, export it in excel then you have to uh, check this box spreadsheet x uh, excel sx which is excel extension i want activities uh, activity relationships all these i want to export these columns you can modify which columns you want to export so here it is user documents 5m documents this one is my schedule now you can make changes here then uh, export it back to primavera but this we will uh, explain in some other video in detail because there are a lot of things to know about import export so this is all for, for today in next video we will come with new updates thank you